In this lesson, we are going to learn about the applications of mirrors in daily life. We look at mirrors every day to groom ourselves. We look at mirrors to make sure our hair is combed right, our face looks good, and our dress is smart. The mirrors we use are plain mirrors. But what happens if our mirrors are curved? Click on the mirrors to find out how you will look if you stand in front of a concave mirror or convex mirror. If we use a concave mirror, we will look tall and thin. This is because light rays from the object converge after reflecting from the mirror. If we use a convex mirror, we will look short and fat. This is because light rays from the object diverge after reflecting from the mirror. Let's look at some applications of mirrors in daily life. A concave mirror is a converging mirror that reflects light rays that strike the curved surface inwards. When an object is placed close to a concave mirror, the image formed is virtual, upright and magnified. Because of these characteristics, a concave mirror is widely used in many daily applications. Why do ladies use concave mirrors when putting on makeup? Ladies use concave mirrors to get magnified and upright images of their faces. Why do dentists use concave mirrors in dental checkups? Dentists use concave mirrors so that they can see the magnified and upright images of hidden cavities in our teeth. Convex mirrors always produce virtual, upright and diminished images. A convex mirror diverges rays of light that falls on it. It has a wider field of view compared to the plane mirror and the concave mirror. This is why convex mirrors are widely used, especially in road safety, even though the images produced are smaller than the objects. Where can you find convex mirrors on roads? Convex mirrors are at the junctions and sharp corners of roads. Why? Convex mirrors increase the field of view so that drivers will be able to see around corners for oncoming vehicles. Other than on the roads, where else can you see convex mirrors in use? Convex and dome mirrors are placed in shopping stores to discourage shoplifters from stealing. Look at this interrogation room. The detectives can look at the suspect in the room, but the suspect only sees what looks like a mirror to him. How is this possible? Interrogation rooms use what we call a one-way mirror. The one-way mirror reflects some of the light that falls on it and lets the rest of the light pass through. This mirror is placed between a dark room and a brightly lit room. Persons on the brightly lit side can only see their own reflection like in a mirror. Persons on the dark side can see through it like a transparent window. These mirrors are also used in shopping centres to watch customers for theft. The one-way mirror is also used in colour television cameras. Its purpose is to split a beam of light so that some colours of light pass straight through, 
while one particular color is reflected. This kind of mirror is also known as a beam splitter. A one-way mirror can be used to cause an illusion. The audience looks at their reflection on the mirror. The room on the opposite side of the glass should be draped in black. Then the lighting comes up slowly on the other side to show a skeleton. The reflection of the audience appears to morph into the skeleton. A parabolic mirror converges parallel rays of light that falls on it to its focus. A small lamp placed at the focus of the mirror produces a parallel beam. A concave parabolic mirror is used in reflecting telescopes to collect and focus incoming light onto a flat mirror that in turn reflects the image into an opening at the side of the main tube and into the eyepiece. Do you know what type of mirror is used in the car headlamps and torchlights? Parabolic mirrors are used in car headlamps and torchlights where the light is focused and directed so that they shine brightly in a straight line. There are many other uses of mirrors. In fun fairs and amusement parks, there are houses of mirrors where the walls are covered with mirrors which are distorted into different curved shapes to give the participants unusual and confusing images of themselves. Mirrors are often used to create an illusion. In this picture, the boy appears to be defying gravity by flying in the air. In dancing halls, Illuminated rotating disco balls cast moving spots of light around a dance floor. Mirrors sometimes cover an entire wall to make a shop or restaurant appear bigger than it actually is. There are mirrors on both walls in barber shops so that the customer may see the result of his haircut both front and back. Mirrors have many applications in daily life. They are used to view things which are difficult or impossible to see directly, to ensure our safety, to control the amount or color of light passing through. In various scientific instruments, In entertainment, brightening up rooms and creating illusions.